Hello, welcome back to my channel. Firstly, if you're wondering, Cara, it's 12pm, why is this not the vlog? It is because the vlog is going up at 6pm today, because I won't have had a chance to edit it in time for 12pm. So we're doing a little switcheroo, so you've got my main video now at 12pm, and then my vlog will be going live at 6. Anyway, on with the main video. Like I did last year is my favourites for 2016. And I've kind of muddled the two together. Last year I think I did two videos. I did one that was beauty and one that was just general life. This year I'm just doing one video. That was two. One video. I kind of narrowed it down to one, two, Six things, six things for 2016. There we go. Um, I feel like I look really bad today as well, so I'm really sorry about that. I, my hair is just like, who knows what's going with it. But yes, I will just get straight into it, I think. Firstly, it's something that I pretty much, well, there's no pretty much about it, I did, use every single day this year was my beauty blenders. I These are disgustingly dirty, I'm really sorry. I need to wash them, but anyway. Shows I've used them. These have been like little gems for me this year. I've used them every single day. I love how quick and easy they are to use. You have you don't have to have any makeup skills whatsoever to use a beauty blender. And I just love how they apply a foundation. I like the finish that they give. I feel like it's just a bit more natural. You don't get any of like your brush lines. You don't have to blend out as much. Like they're just a dream. And even if you are a big, complete beginner with makeup, a beauty blender is just so easy to use and perfect and everyone should own one and yeah the ones that I've been using are just the ones from Real Techniques nothing else really to say about that is there it is a sponge that you apply your foundation with um, I apply my foundation and my concealer with this I apply my concealer with the little tip and then my foundation with the like flat bit at the end just here. Beauty blenders are definitely a top one for me for 2016. This year I also decided that I needed to kind of expand my collection a little bit and start using different brands but not high-end brands. I needed to start using, hello, um, a few more lower range like super drug sort of brands. So I did pick up a few things this year and I've been obsessed with these two palettes so I thought I would show you these two. The first one being the Revolution palette from Revolution. This that makes sense. This is the Redemption palette, Iconic 3. This is the only one I've got, but this is like beautiful, like perfect shades for me. And yeah, this is kind of like a fail safe palette for me. I absolutely love it. The pigmentation of these eyeshadows as well is absolutely incredible. Really, really don't need a lot. And they're so easy to use and you can use them all together. There isn't any colors in this palette or any of their palettes actually from what I've seen that kind of stand out as not really being able to use. Sometimes I find that you can, you get a palette and then there's like a really random bright blue or something like that that you just know you're never going to use. But there is nothing like that in any of the Revolution palettes that I've seen. And I really want to pick up some more of these in 2017 because I'm just obsessed with this one. And the second brand that I decided to expand on, I've actually used quite a lot of before. I use their powder every day, but it is Collection. And again, I picked up one of their palettes. This is Let Your Eyes Do The Talking palette in Nude Rose. And as you guessed, it's got lots of rosy kind of colours in it. Rose gold colours and a random really dark purple. Again, perfect palette for anyone that's starting out with makeup this year. Well, 2016, I really wanted to start expanding on my eyeshadows and making a bit more of an effort with my eyeshadow, which I definitely have done this year with help from these two palettes because they're just so easy to use and perfect for beginners or someone that's just a little bit nervous with eyeshadow like I was. Super fail safe and also super cheap. I think this was like 6 99 and these really aren't expensive. Like I feel like this was about the same, if not maybe slightly cheaper. I can't actually remember. Collection palettes and revolution palettes are definitely a top hit for me in 2016. Sticking on the trying new brands theme, this is not quite so low end, but this year I finally was able to get my hands on some Charlotte Tilbury makeup. I say makeup, I've literally just got lipsticks. Um, but that's something that I wanted to try for such a long time. And then this year, our John Lewis finally got a Charlotte Tilbury stand. So I obviously couldn't resist going in and picking up a few things. My favourite one I actually haven't got on me. I left it at work. But if you watch the vlog later, I mention it in that and I wear it in that. So you'll be able to see. But the two that I've got here are Sexy Sienna, which is more of like a corally kind of colour. And Love Liberty, which is like a really dark red, which I absolutely love. I love this colour to pieces. I love a dark red. 
I haven't got a lipstick on right now, so I'm going to put one on. As bad as my hair looks right now, I have been more experimental with my hair. But one thing, one thing that I've absolutely loved this year are these hair bands. I know I've mentioned them in favourites before, but I every time I have my hair up now since discovering these, it is using one of these. So I've got this one, which came in like a multi-pack from Primark, where they've got loads of different coloured ones. And then this one, which is obviously just clear. I love these they have been perfect for me with my fine hair sometimes a ponytail can just look a bit limp and pathetic and it's a bit like why have you tried do you know what i mean um <laughs> but for some reason with these it just makes my ponytail look so much thicker more voluminous i think it's because obviously because you've got the little gaps like the hair kind of sits through and they like move in a it just looks so much better. I don't know how to explain it. It just does. These don't get tangled in your hair. I have really knotty hair, which can be an absolute nightmare to get a hair band out. But these are so good. You just literally pull it apart and your hair falls out. And it's amazing. And I just love them. They're so cheap. I will never be without one of these anymore. There's always one in my bag or on my wrist or somewhere on my person. You will find one of these. I'm really sorry if I'm playing with my hair throughout this whole video. It's really bugging me. And lastly, I can't not finish on this because it has kind of become the biggest part of my life this year but I started weekly vlogging yes my G7X is definitely in my top but it is vlogging that is in my top for 2016 it's definitely my number one it has become my obsession I absolutely love it and the response from you guys has been amazing for my weekly vlogs as well which is another reason why I absolutely love it. being able to record every day and keep memories that forever basically is, is just amazing and I'm sure when I look back in like a few years time I'll be like so glad that I started doing it so happy that I started weekly vlogging and long may it continue hopefully through all the way through 2017 I will be weekly vlogging and who knows where we'll be at the end of this year maybe I'll be daily vlogging that is something that I would love to do but right now my life is just really not exciting enough to weekly vlog you would be so bored to daily vlog rather you will be so bored let's be honest. <laughs> Those are definitely the top things that really stood out for me this year that I've pretty much used every day, if not every day, like at least a few times a week. Let me know in the comments down below what your like number one top thing has been for 2016, whether it be a product, an event, whether you've started doing something, maybe you've started your own YouTube channel, maybe you've started a blog, anything let me know down in the comments I would love to know make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any of my weekly vlogs because I think this year is going to be quite an exciting year on the vlog well not just the vlog for me in my life I feel like this year will hopefully be quite an exciting year hopefully lots of exciting things are going to happen so yes make sure you follow the weekly vlogs to see what I get up to don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up and I will see you next week bye don't forget the weekly vlog is going live at 6pm